5 a.m. We're on the trail to Delicate Arms. I just can't stop smiling. This place is unreal. It's more than I could have imagined. So the light opening is 46 feet high and it's 32 feet wide, so it makes it the largest freestanding arch and it's obviously the most famous arch in the world. Hey guys, so we are leaving Delicate Arch. We're heading over to Twisted Donut where we're gonna get another view. And this is the ledge that I was terrified of, but it's really not that bad. So if you watch videos and it looks scary, obviously if you have a fear of heights, it might not be for you, but it's not as bad as I thought. descend back to the trailhead. We went through Twisted Donut, um, and next is gonna be Sand Dune Arch, and all of this is what we came up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the elevation will get you, the hike really isn't bad, but if you're not used to the elevation, that's what'll make it difficult for you.
did the sand dune arch we're on the sand dune broken arch and tapestry arch trail it's a 2.8 mile trail uh, round trip it's a loop trail and um, there's a lot of sand so be prepared to have a lot of sand in your shoes when you're done after visiting sand dune arch next we're going to head to broken arch and then tapestry arch We're almost at Broken Arch, but just before we go all the way there, those giant fins out in the distance, we were just in between those, and Sand Dune Arch is just in between those giant fins. There's a made it to the Tapestry Arch. Not many people know about the Tapestry Arch. As you can see, we're the only ones here, which is awesome. Um, if you do want to find it, just keep going on the Sand Dune and Broken Arch Trail. You're actually going to want to walk through Broken Arch and just follow the trail and you'll see signs that will direct you to Tapestry Arch. This thing is huge. Mike's been doing this a lot on the hike. Um, so if you can, bring along, bring along yourself a mic to uh, lend you a hand in, di in uh, difficult spots. <laughs> Devil's Garden and we are going to see a landscape arch, a pine tree arch, and tunnel arch. Tunnel arch. Oh my god, I knew that because when I looked at what we were going to, I was like, ooh, tunnel, like the subway tunnel in Sedona. And that's why I remember the name of it and I just forgot. But we are just starting Devil's Garden. It is 10.51 and we are already a, a little over seven miles for the day, so we're doing a lot. Nice.
Also to note, the Devil's Garden Trail is 7.9 miles round trip. Um, we don't have time today to do the entire loop, so we're gonna go to Landscape Arch and back. We just saw a tunnel arch. It's a very short walk off the trailhead. Next we're gonna head to Pine Tree Arch, which is gonna be the seventh arch that we've seen today in this park. See you there. longest arch in the park. Back in 1991 there was a rock slide where a huge chunk fell out of landscape arch and because of that and for everybody's safety you can no longer walk up to it. Um, you can only view it from a viewpoint but it's still a beautiful arch and it's going to be really awesome to see from far away. Landscape arch is six feet across in diameter. We're heading to the arch I have been anticipating the most this entire trip. We are going to double arch. And if you are a fan of Indiana Jones, like I am, I grew up watching those movies with my dad all the time. The opening scene of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, when he's a kid and they're Boy Scouts, all happens right here. Almost at double arch and a couple of quick facts I have to cheat in my notes that I wrote earlier. It is the tallest arch in the park at 112 feet and the longest or the second longest behind landscape arch at 144 feet. And like Megan said earlier, Indiana Jones. The trail to get here is about a half mile round trip. <laughs> Now we are at Balanced Rock. It is a quarter mile loop. Um, we actually read that it did have a friend, but it um, over time it collapsed, which will eventually happen here one day, but we're just really grateful that we're here to see it. But we're gonna show you guys all the good angles because this looks different from every side. It's a really easy paved quarter loop. Loop. <laughs> So just the top part of the rock is 3,600 tons, which is pretty impressive that it balances so perfectly on top. Hey guys, we're at the Park Ave Overlook. We were gonna do the hike. It's a total mile, um, total of two miles, mile out, mile back. But we are getting very close to the time we have to leave. We have an eight-hour drive back to Phoenix to get our marriage license. So unfortunately, we can't do the Park Avenue hike. So we're gonna get some pictures and footage for you now. But we do have a very exciting surprise coming for you after. line to 
get into Arches, and it is 2.25, you guys. I'm really glad that we got here at 4.30 this morning. We got to do everything. We had all of the really big arches that were on our bucket list to ourselves. This is crazy. So we just finished up our hike. We're down in Moab now. We had some food at the, uh, the food truck little area. There's a whole bit, uh, area of food trucks. Um, we had some really good um, barbecue chicken sandwiches. We'll list the name of the restaurant below. And we also got some iced coffees as well. And we'll also put the name in the video of that iced coffee place as well. It was very good. I highly recommend checking it out if you're looking for some food nearby after a long and strenuous hike. And um, check out this really cool Moab sign here. It's um, right on the corner just up the street from the, uh, the Moab food truck park. That's where we ate, the Moab food truck park. I couldn't remember it. Um, but next we're gonna head to our little surprise location that we have for you next, so we'll see you there. Run, Megan, run! We made it, it's our surprise location, Monument Valley. This has been like a super massive bucket list item for me and I, I just can't stop smiling. This place is awesome. I could not wait to see it. We drove through last night in the dark. We couldn't see anything. I was so upset, but I'm super excited. We're able to see this on our way back to Phoenix and it's just, it's, it's amazing. There's no words. So we hope you guys like our surprise. We definitely like it. Um, it's, it's really cool and the speed limit actually is reduced on this portion of the road, but as you can tell, <laughs> nobody's slowing down. So whoever's taking your picture, you watch their back, they'll watch yours and be safe, please. I don't have rhythm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I jerked the camera. Are you okay? <laughs>